What is up guys, Charisma here, and today we are back with another video for you guys. I know I haven't uploaded in such a long time, I think it's been over two weeks or so, and uh, you know, I just haven't had the enjoyment or w the drive to make videos for this channel, and now that the summer is out, er, or not the summer is out, but now that it's summer and I'm out of school and all that kind of stuff, I have the time to do this, and all summer long, I'm going to try my best to keep you guys updated, and you know, keep on bringing these videos out, uh, even if you don't enjoy them, I'm just going to do my best to try to make myself better and whatnot. So without any further ado, let's hop into the first topic of the video regarding Keemstar and the community, or more so the YouTube community, and basically what happened was today early on, Keemstar tweeted out saying, I have helped out so many people in this community and they flip me on and kick me when I'm down, you think I'll be down forever, I won't, and then after that he tweeted out saying, if you've been a fan of me for years, you see me shut down so many times, what did I do, it got back up and fucking destroyed story the rat so uh if you guys aren't aware if you guys watch scarce's video or maybe even keemstar's video he's been in a you know predicament or a little fight with leafy and a bunch of other youtubers that he used to be friends with and basically what happened was leafy and i think h3h3 i don't know who exactly said who or what but basically they told each other that keemstar was talking shit about them behind their backs and uh they all turned on keemstar you know calling him out making videos about him and if you guys want more further in-depth detail i do recommend checking out scarce's latest videos or maybe even Keemstar's latest video where he did explain what happened. And if you guys want to watch the Leafy and H3H3's videos on their input on this entire situation, you guys can do that as well. But on top of that, Keemstar also came out with a twit longer. And in the twit longer, he mentioned, starting off to my dearly beloved drama alert fans, the last 10 days of my existence have been torture. Large YouTubers who were my friends in every sense of the definition have betrayed me. I am not fully sure what has brought this on me. I've been accused of talking shit about Leafy and Grey a under a to mysterious five other youtubers so like i mentioned i was just a little off but basically uh people have been accusing him of talking shit about leafy and grade a under a and about like five other youtubers and obviously those five of the youtubers including grade a under a and leafy have come back with a response via a youtube video and like i said i'll put the links to the videos down below in the description and you guys can catch that on your own but in the twit longer he goes on to talk about how he helped leafy when he was down he gave leafy his first shout out he made Leafy, you know, a little more popular in the drama community as well as, you know, the gaming community. And he talked about how he made, you know, Leafy, you know, realize certain things and how he helped Leafy make the right decisions in, you know, his YouTube career. And uh, basically, it just goes on to talk how he did nothing but support Leafy and Grade A, Andre, and such other YouTubers. But if you guys want to read the entire tweet longer, which is very long, I'll link the entire thing down below in the description as well as the videos. That is all for that topic. Next up, we got Christopher Duarte. A.K.A. Parasite, the world champion from Black Ops 2, the Call of Duty professional player, getting into a little bit of beef with Natalie Monroe, who is a porn star. If you guys don't know, maybe you guys watched her videos, maybe you haven't. I don't know. We'll keep that, you know, on the low side. But basically, they got onto a fight, and what happened was, and Natalie Monroe and her boyfriend were going out, and about three months prior to today, her boyfriend passed away. And during that time, Christopher Duarte or Parasite was, you know, comforting her and, you know, making her feel better. And basically, you guys may have seen Natalie and Christopher you know, together in selfies and stuff like that. They were, you know, seen on streams of Christopher and stuff like that. And basically, the entire argument was that Christopher was being too pushy and very, you know, uncomfortable with Natalie Monroe. And he, she mentioned that. Christopher almost took advantage of her when she was, you know, delusional. She was almost drunk. And as you guys know, MLG Anaheim was just this weekend. And at that time, she was partying and she was drunk and having fun with other people or other pro players at that event. And then Christopher came down to the event. He got all mad and almost started to fight all the other pro players. And, uh, you know, he just got mad. And basically, Natalie Monroe and her just got into a big Twitter fight. And I'm not going to obviously drag this any longer than Nora he has to be. But basically, I just want to update you guys on that little, you know, little thing. And for the next next topic we got optic gaming versus call of duty and more specifically the call of duty world league which is like a league for the call of duty professional players and basically what happened was two days ago optic gaming you know they were at mlg anaheim they were at e3 and on their way home and they had a match that day and what happened was they scheduled it for a later time but basically the driver took so long the uber driver to get to the house so they couldn't really play and uh, they got forfeited for 30 seconds basically they were late to the match for 30 seconds and the call of duty world league organized 
organizers or whoever you know runs the thing basically forfeited them for the first match and you know this isn't just this team there's multiple other teams known as dream team and many other professional players thinking about retiring and changing teams and stuff like that because they're just not being treated equally as you know they should be like like a veteran call of duty professional player known as killer who mentioned that he will be retiring after this call of duty it's just not the same for him as it was you know a few years ago as you guys may or may not know he is a call of duty champion he's won the big million dollar prize and you know for him to say something like this he's not enjoying the entire competition side of things it's pretty crazy and uh basically that's gonna do it for me guys hope you guys enjoyed today is game six of the nba finals cavaliers versus the golden state warriors me personally i am a big warriors fan so uh let me know who you guys win in the game today and uh, put it down in the comments as well as drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it is your boy charisma till next time guys peace out